This is the Tokyo Butter 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Butter 23 sneaker channel. There's my Nichi Absurdo no De. My Nichi means you can sign every single day. I'm dropping you content from Tokyo, Japan uh, about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today we're talking about the upcoming release of the Nike Kyrie 5 and Bandulu collaboration. As I said in the introduction, today is all about the Nike Kyrie 5 and Bandulu collaboration. Now, Bandulu is a clothing store out of Boston, uh, and that collaboration with the Nike uh, Kyrie 5s, uh, it's a real fire looking shoe, uh, and it's got a lot going on there, a lot of different features in there. It reminds me of a Kyrie 5 that dropped at the end of last year in December 2018, the Iket, uh, which was one of the first sneakers that I reviewed for my channel, because my channel was very new back then at the end of 2018. Uh, and I absolutely loved that sneaker. It was one of the first sneakers to review for the channel that I didn't know much about uh, and I was looking at it uh, with uh, like fresh eyes you know because uh, uh, it's a sneaker I'm not a basketball player so I didn't know much about Kyrie Irving um, and I think uh, if I remember rightly, I mispronounced his name uh, throughout that video. I, I totally forgot about this. And I just remembered it right now. I think I called him Kyle Irving all the way through and I had to edit out uh, that. If you ever go back, I'm sure there's a link up above to watch that video, but if you ever go back and watch it, you can see that I did some really creative ed editing so that I just say Irving. I'd be like, you know, Irving is a very important basketball player or something like that, you know, instead of, uh, whereas I'd actually said Ky Kyle Irving. Um, so anyway, you know, the channel grows. I grow, I learn. Uh, but this shoe reminds me a lot of that Iket from uh, late December 2018. Uh, really big fan of that shoe at that time and, and I'm quite a fan of this. And I'll draw some comparisons between that shoe uh, and this shoe today. Uh, but before that, of course, please do subscribe to the channel. I do say at the start of all my videos, as do YouTubers the world over. Uh, they ask you to subscribe to the channel and help the channel grow. So please do hit that subscribe button down below. And as I am here in Tokyo, Japan, I do slip into Japanese and say things like Toroku onegaishimasu. Uh, no, Okay, so uh, let's have a look at the sneaker, um, Kyrie Fives. Uh, I think it's a really cracking looking sneaker. Uh, the Bandulu clothing company out of Boston uh, tying it up together with uh, with Nike to bring you this collaboration. Uh, and there's a few really significant features or, or um, I don't know what we'd call them, not significant features, but um, anyway, I mean, there's design elements on there that are interesting. The, the first and foremost for me is on that upper, you've got this really, uh, it's almost graffitied like or um, splatter paint or something like that, which is especially evident, I think, on the medial side. Um, and uh, But it's also evident, you know, the, the shoe over, there are places like on the toe box and things like that as well, which have that similar kind of design. Uh, and it's like a splatter paint or, or something like that. So really, I think it's really cool. And I especially like the fact that it's a, a good place to look at this is on the toe box and you can see that the toe, the toe boxes on the left and the right shoes are not identical. It's one of my favorite features on sneakers is when the brand take the time make you know spend the cost because it costs more to do this uh, and be creative and have that creative element where they have differences between the left and the right shoes uh, because you know that they're they're doing it for the design. Um, it would be cheaper and easier uh, for production if the shoes were identical, uh, but because they're not, it, it adds a level of cost to the shoe uh, for the company, but they're doing it for the design. I really appreciate that. And they, these shoes have that as a signature throughout. Um, so you've got the, the toe boxes there where they are different from the left and the right shoes. But then if you have a little peek inside at the insoles, you can see that one has uh, Kyrie Irving's um, brand, logo, moniker, whatever you want to call that. And the other one has its signature and the insoles. So again, differences between the left and the right shoes there. Uh, and then those differences are, are continued as you go um, to the back of the sneaker. And on the heel on one of them, it says Nike Basketball. And on the other one, it says Bandaloo Street Clothing. Um, and that, again, you know, having those two differences on there costs a bit more money for Nike and Bandaloo, I assume, uh, to have to do that. But it does make a difference to the quality of the sneaker. And it makes me, as the consumer, trust it more that they've actually authentically designed this shoe. And it's it's not just a money grab, you know. Sometimes I feel like um, the sneakers that get put out are kind of money grabs, and I don't feel that with this sneaker. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a really nicely designed sneaker. I like the echoes of the Iket without it being too much like it. That there are enough differences there. Uh, I think the base color pattern on it is very close to the Iket. I really, one of the things I really love about the 
um, Kyrie 5 is the way that the the lacing system works because it's sort of tight on the medial side uh, and then as it goes across to the lateral side it flares out which is one of my favorite things uh, about the shoe so it's a really cool uh, looking shoe and like I say there's enough uh, commonality with the Iket to make it um, similar like a like a sister shoe uh, but there are enough differences so it doesn't just feel like a reprint of the same shoe from before uh, okay that's enough from me today just a quick one to talk to you about the Kyrie 5 uh, Bandulu's uh, that tie up a collaboration with the Boston Streetwear um, store uh, I, I think it's a great looking shoe I really do I think it's a fine looking shoe I think it's going to do it's one of those shoes that might very well bridge the basketball and street sort of wear um, worlds and bring those two together uh, which in, if that does happen happen it will make it a real hot seller and really hard to get your hands on so yes great looking shoe definitely think it's going to sell and sell really well okay that's enough for me today i'm going to be back this weekend uh or tomorrow uh i'm bringing a i've got some jordans lined up to talk about the jordan fours uh the cool grays i think they're called and then the jordan three tinker black cements both uh, interesting looking shoes with a lot to talk about so keep an eye out for them coming real soon on the channel but for now it's time for me to do what i do at the end of every single video which is say that i will see you tomorrow